Hawthorne-based Space Exploration Technologies Corporation has been awarded a $178 million contract by NASA to conduct the launch for its mission to investigate Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. The mission called Europa Clipper is scheduled for October 2024. Under the contract, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket would take off from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, carrying the $4 billion Europa Clipper spacecraft into space. The goal of the mission is to determine whether Europa has suitable conditions for life. NASA said in its July 23rd announcement that mission objectives include producing high-resolution images of Europa's surface, determining its composition, looking for signs of geological activity, measuring the thickness of the moon's shell, and searching for subsurface lakes. Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to get updated with technology trends. We bring you the video related to Elon Musk planning to build a city on Jupiter. So stick till the end. NASA selected Elon Musk's SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket to launch its scientific probe of the Jupiter moon Europa, which has liquid oceans that could harbor life. NASA has chosen SpaceX to launch its next alien hunting mission to a Jupiter moon. The mission called Europa Clipper is designed to fly past Jupiter's moon Europa 45 times, getting as close as 16 miles above its surface. Scientists believe that the moon conceals a global ocean beneath its icy crust, and alien life could thrive deep within it. NASA announced Friday that it set a date for the mission and awarded the $178 million launch contract to SpaceX. Now Europa Clipper is scheduled to blast off aboard the company's Falcon Heavy rocket in October of 2024. Europa Clipper's main objective is to determine whether Europa could host life at all. It aims to take high-resolution images of the moon's surface, chart the composition and thickness of the icy crust, look for lakes below the surface, and measure the depth and saltiness of the ocean below. The spacecraft could even fly through plumes of water vapor that shoot through Europa's ice, since those are known to crust more than 100 miles above the surface. This water seems to come from the ocean below and could contain signs of life. The reason Europa can keep water in a liquid state is that it follows an oval-shaped orbit around Jupiter. The giant planet's gravity stretches and relaxes the moon, and that friction warms Europa's deep underground salt water, keeping it liquid. The warmth of that process could also allow the moon to harbor deep-sea ecosystems. NASA originally planned to use its own space launch system, but scrapped the plan in favor of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. Falcon Heavy is nearly 230 feet tall, or around 23 stories, and is partially reusable. The rocket has the capacity to carry roughly 64 metric tons, or 141,000 pounds. Its 27 engines together generate more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. The company calls Falcon Heavy the world's most powerful rocket. The rocket has been launched three times since 2018, once for a demo and twice on behalf of clients, Arabsat and the Defense Department. All three launches were successful. SpaceX has missions scheduled for the Falcon Heavy on behalf of the Space Force for October and in early 2022. NASA has awarded several other major contracts to the Elon Musk Aerospace Company for services including launch support, satellite deployment, and cargo delivery. In April, SpaceX scored a $2.9 billion NASA contract to use the company's Starship spacecraft to take astronauts from lunar orbit to the moon's surface. The highly competitive contract, however, was suspended after Seattle-based Blue Origin, an aerospace company created by Amazon.com Incorporated founder Jeff Bezos, and Huntsville, Alabama-based defense contractor Dynetics Incorporated, filed a protest calling the contract unfair. In a July 26 bid for the contract, Bezos offered to waive $2 billion in fees for NASA if the agency chose Blue Origin for the mission instead. The dispute hasn't been resolved yet, but SpaceX still has plans for its Starship spacecraft. SpaceX President Gwen Shotwell said in late June the company was planning its first orbital launch of its Starship spacecraft in July. However, the launch has yet to happen as the company still has not received approval from the Federal Aviation Administration, which still must perform an environmental impact review of Starship launches at the company's test site in Boca Chica, Texas. Outside of its extensive mission plans, SpaceX has garnered massive support from investors. In February, it pulled in an additional $850 million at $419.99 per share of the company, then added around $314 million to that amount in April for a total of nearly $1.2 billion so far in 2021. SpaceX, the rocket company Elon Musk founded in 2002, is not in the business of studying other planets, but it is in the business of launching things for NASA, 
and the agency is awarding the company more and more opportunities to do so. SpaceX's Crew Dragon spaceship flew NASA astronauts to the International Space Station last year. It was the first time the U.S. has launched its own astronaut since the space shuttle program ended in 2011. SpaceX is now regularly ferrying astronauts to and from the space station. In April, NASA awarded SpaceX a contract to turn its in-development Starship Mega Rocket into a lunar lander. The agency said Starship is set to land astronauts on the moon in 2024. That would be the first human moon landing since the Apollo missions ended in 1972. The decision prompted challenges from competing rocket makers Blue Origin and Dynetics, since the original plan was for NASA to pick two of the three companies for lunar lander contracts. The protest required NASA to order that SpaceX stop working on the lunar lander. SpaceX didn't win its new Europa Clipper contract without a contest either, according to Eric Berger, a senior space editor for Ars Technica. Congress had spent years urging NASA to launch the mission aboard its own space launch system, or SLS, rocket but legislators finally relented due to delays in the launch system's development. It's high cost and a recent technical issue that would require $1 billion to correct, Berger reported. Europa is among NASA's top scientific efforts, given the enormous amount of salt water that lies below its icy surface. To that end, the spacecraft is carrying a suite of scientific instruments that will help scientists figure out if the moon could support life. Since its inception, Clipper was legally obligated to launch on NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS. But that has recently changed due to perpetual delays and cost overruns with the SLS. To that end, NASA has reportedly urged Congress to consider allowing Europa Clipper to fly on a commercial spacecraft. Switching to another vehicle would save the mission up to $1 billion, according to NASA's Inspector General. HLS is NASA's next moon rocket. The Mighty Launcher is designed to take payloads into deep space, and the first of those missions, a test flight, is slated to launch sometime late this year. The rocket, which surpasses the power of the Saturn V, will blast off on a trajectory around the moon to test out the vehicle's capabilities ahead of sending people and cargo. The heavy lift vehicle has had its challenges, but thanks to some powerful allies in Congress, the program has been kept alive for years, even as it blew past budgets and deadlines. The Europa Clipper spacecraft will produce high-resolution images of the surface, determine the moon's composition, and scan for geographic activity, NASA said. It will hunt for subsurface lakes, measure the moon's shell, and determine the depth and salinity of the ocean. The Europa Clipper orbiter will make about 40 to 50 close passes over Europa to determine whether the icy moon could harbor conditions suitable for life. Its payload will include cameras and spectrometers to produce high-resolution images and compositional maps of the surface and atmosphere, as well as radar to penetrate the icy layer to search for liquid water below. That said, this is it for today's video. So what is your take on this matter? Tell us in the comments. If you want to see our upcoming videos, ring the bell icon, and don't forget to like our video as well. That's all from my side. Thanks for watching.